Hello, my dear students. I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. Uh, this video is only for uh, uh, the fourth semester BE degree students and also for the computer science uh, stream. Title uh, of your uh, stream called Mathematical Foundation for Computing, Probability and Statistics with the subject code uh, 21 MAT CS41. Some of them uh, insisted me to do this uh, video as they required uh, how to pass this uh, M4 examination. So for that reason, I am doing this video again. So kindly share this video with your friends, which may helpful for them. In this video, mainly I am discussing uh, how to pass the examination, how to pass your final examination. Those who are lagging behind in mathematics subject, they can refer this uh, video. Uh, since uh, some of them are feeling difficulty in solving problems. So definitely come out of that and take a challenge of passing this subject and make sure that you can get 35 marks in this subject by watching this video. I also request you to share this video with your friends and finally don't forget to press like button. For previous videos, you can refer the description. I have provided the link over there. So now moving on to the syllabus part and I will be discussing there. I will be telling what to study, what not to study. It is a pure choice. How you are going to choose uh, the content uh, then uh, you can decide definitely will you get uh, 35 marks out of 100 or not so you can make sure that you will get 35 marks or you get 70 marks you can uh, make sure uh, by watching this video and also I will be uploading uh, the solved model question paper you can also refer this uh, refer that uh, videos for your uh, reference don't stick on to those problems itself but they can give in that pattern. So you can just stick on to the concept whatever they have given in the question paper. That's all. So now if you come to module 1. So your aim is to score first it is 35. I am saying this only for the students who want just 35 marks. Not for 100 out of 100 marks I am talking about. So I am talking about the people who want to take a just pass. So in the first module if you study how to construct the truth table truth table in that uh, tautology contradiction uh, and uh, contrapositive all these three things uh, the definitely one problem can be given definitely one problem can be given and or else choice is yours whatever the uh, thing i am going to tell in this topic you can take a choice maximum you can uh, sorry minimum you can score seven marks minimum seven marks you need to score from this module one is what truth table that is construction of truth table it may be tautology contradiction contrapositive so then logical equivalence using loss of logic if you study loss of logic that will be useful for quantifiers also quantifiers also that makes you an advantage then you can score minimum 40 marks you can score if you study uh, logical equivalence uh, using uh, loss of logic definitely you can score seven marks or rule of inference or quantifiers so out of these four content if you study one content definitely you can score seven marks keep in your mind you go through the truth tables or logical equivalence or rule of inference or quantifiers only four content is there if you study all the four you can score 20 out of 20 but I am not giving assurance for 20 out of 20. My aim is make you to get 35. So for that reason, so you, you need to choose now. So just you need to go with the easy way of uh, choosing the problems. Next, moving on to module 2. In module 2, definitely one problem will be there from 0, 1 matrix and directed graph and assay diagram. Assay diagram, equivalence relation and partitions. From these topics definitely if you study definitely one question will be there definitely one question or else you may have the chances of getting two questions also so for that reason i am fixing 14 marks for that reason i am fixing 14 marks in this module and also if you go with isomorphism graph isomorphism so definitely you can score 14 marks from this module so if you study assay diagram zero one matrix di uh, digraph and the equivalence relation and partition and finally graph isomorphism if you study these much topics in this module without leaving any of these topics 
definitely you can score 14 marks and if you feel comfortable in finding function of composition you can also solve definitely you can score 20 out of 20 marks in this model so no no, uh, no doubt in that moving on to module 3 don't leave module 3 and module 5 study well this is the scoring topic in module 3 and module 5 is the very very important topic you can score 20 out of 20 in both the modules but again i am telling i am concentrating to score 35 marks so first study curve fitting in this module study curve fitting don't leave any of these three content a straight line power curve and uh, second degree parabola so study all the three i have already released this video so you can refer my previous videos i have solved uh, the problems on curve fitting you can solve and uh, you can refer that video so you can if you solve solve this uh, problems definitely you can score seven marks and and after that if you study curl pearson coefficient correlation rank correlation coefficient regression lines definitely you can score 20 out of 20 marks in this module 20 out of 20 definitely don't leave any topic from this module my dear students don't leave any topic it is very easy if you study curl pearson coefficients uh, rank correlation definitely you can solve regression of lines so similarly if you study a uh, straight line the similar way of uh, solving the problems of power curve so if you study straight line you can solve power curve problems so if you study uh, straight line or and power curve problems definitely you can solve parabola so definitely you can score 20 out of 20 in this module don't leave any topic i'll move on to module 5 then i will come to module 4 in module 5 so study joint probability distribution uh, which is nothing but just they are asking to find they will ask to find expectation covariance and correlation these three topics and marginal distribution how to construct so by using uh, that table if you construct the table x and y x and y so using x and y they will ask to find marginal distribution so this will be the marginal distribution some of this will be a marginal distribution so if you find out the marginal distribution using that marginal distribution and using this table you can find out expectation covariance correlation so definitely uh, two question will be framed from this topic and going with sampling theory i had student t distribution chi square distribution and uh, hypothesis problems so definitely you can score 20 out of 20 in this module so no doubt in these two modules if you study and if you comfort with these two modules and taking a choice in other modules is very important so definitely you can score minimum 35 marks minimum 35 marks coming to the last module that is uh, module 4 which i left earlier that is uh, probability distribution in this uh, a simple problem on a random uh, variable they can ask simple problem they will ask us whether it is pdf or cdf uh, probability density function continuous density function they will ask one problem will be compulsory apart from those uh, problem definitely two content they can ask one is uh, on by binomial or poisson or no normal distribution so here, here you can make a choice here you can make a choice studying all these three content you can go with only two content studying simple problems on random variable and out of these three topics studying one topic you can study either binomial poison normal distribution definitely one problem will be there on normal distribution and by bi binomial poison will be a choice question will be there so for that reason i am telling you can have a choice here i am not putting a choice you can choose your comfortability go with your comfortness yeah, but I am preferring you people to study normal distribution and simple problems on random variable that is uh, finding probability less than x uh, less than y greater than x at least at most and uh, whether the given uh, probability function is uh, pdf or cdf like that such problems if you study you can score 14 marks but I am not going with 14 marks I will stick on to 7 marks so now if you count how much marks you can get I will go with all the modules as uh, 7 itself here. From module 1, from module 1 I will go with 7 marks. From module 2 also I will go with uh, 7 marks. From module 3 I will fix 20 marks. From module uh, 4 also I will go with uh, 7 marks. From module 5 I will go with uh, 20 marks. 
finally finally how much you can score finally you can score my dear student 61 marks but my aim is what 35 marks out of 100 if you aim like this at least you can guess for 35 marks otherwise it is not possible to score 35 marks and don't regret afterwards so now only start studying from right now you have so much uh, time to study and get prepare well for your upcoming examination and i finally request you people to share this video with your friends it may be helpful for someone else if it is not helpful for you it may be helpful definitely for one person so share this video with your friends and uh, finally like this uh, video and if you like this video do subscribe to my youtube channel thank you all for watching this video